Hi everybody, this is Daniel from WeLaunch and this is another tutorial how you can optimize your WooCommerce category pages in terms of SEO. So, as you know, SEO is changing very often and in most of the times it's about two main points that you should trigger on your website to get better rank in SEO. The first one is content is king, so produce good content, produce content that people are interested in and focus on the user. So this will ensure that your pages will get indexed and you will be ranked a bit higher in the Google search, for example. And the second rule is engagement is the queen. So we have content is king, engagement is the queen. And what is engagement is that people who visit your site will also stay on your site and read the article to the end, for example, or interact with it. For example, click on buttons, read more about that etc. etc. We have developed a plugin to tackle the first, but also the second point of SEO. And I want to show you a quick demo of this. So we have a WooCommerce category called posters with landing pages. And we know that WooCommerce by default has an option to show the product category description here, for example. This is a short description. For example, a poster is a piece of blah, blah, blah that can be printed and nothing else can be done. So you see underneath directly the listing of the products and that's it, but you don't have any possibility to create more content that is engaging the user or you don't have any possibilities to target special landing pages that just are triggered for posters, for example, or give some more information in the sidebar. This is exactly where our plugin jumps in. And I will go into the backend now and show you the options panel and also how you can add more content and more text to, for example, this category. So this is the backend and under WooCommerce we have a new item called Advanced Categories. In this Advanced Categories options panel you see that it's possible to activate the plugin and you also have different more subcategories. First of course we will go and yeah, activate the main plugin itself and then you can normally click on Save Changes and that's it. So the basic settings are okay for 99% of all your problems and it will help you to create custom text for categories directly. But we want to guide you or I want to guide you through some more steps here. Uh, we skipped nested categories because that's not for SEO, but we have a function called for SEO titles. That is, for example, when someone's filtering then he will see the title of the page with the filters he has chosen. And this is also for niche keywords that you want to target. If I save the change and I will go back into the category now, for example, then you will see if you filter by color, if I click on color blue, you will see that the H1 on top here, so the most important SEO keyword, has changed to posters with landing pages in color blue. And you can send these URLs, for example, to Google index to see or to target people who are searching for blue posters, just as an example. The next functionality is landing pages and I will enable the landing pages now. Reload the page with the posters because we edited some landing pages also in the backend before of that category. And you would see here, for example, that three new card this design items have been displayed. You see best hoodies landing page, best music landing page, or my custom landing page. These are just some examples that we created. But of course, you can use this feature to create yeah, niche, niche landing pages or landing pages where you're going to promote posters uh, with 50% off or a special campaign regarding posters here to lead people to the new landing pages uh, to sell some more stuff, but also to increase your internal SEO linking. Let's say, for example, if you link to more stuff that is related to posters internally, then it's a sign for Google that you have much more content also in different sub pages and subcategories. The next part I want to show you is the single category outlet. And we enabled the text here, for example, and we can also enable the SEO sidebar text here. And we can go back to the category now. And you would see that, for example, here in the left, 
we have now displayed a sidebar text, which is called more about posters with landing pages. So this is an automatic title that is being generated, but of course you can always rewrite that with your own title if you want. And that will display the texts, for example, in the sidebar of that special category itself. Moreover, as I activated footer texts, you can see here in the footer of that poster category more about the history of posters, for example, and some more details about the mass production. So as you can see now, there are some main features of our plugin that is tackling SEO. Uh, first, the dynamic changing of the title, the adding of landing pages to create, create or increase internal linking, to create sidebar texts here in the left, and also to create footer texts here in the footer. If you now want to see where these texts are managed, then you simply click on Edit Category, as you know it from WooCommerce itself, and you will see the backend of how you create or how you edit a category of a WooCommerce product type. You see here it's the name Post of the Landing Pages, um, Slack ETC, that is the default one of WooCommerce itself. But below that, you will see here, for example, some new stuff that is coming from our SEO Advanced Categories plugin. So you, for example, you can set a custom H1 title that will be used instead of the hero title, the H1 title on the category itself, but it will not override the menu title. Let's say, for example, you sp uh, sell special posters with a special material only, then you call it posters with cashmere, for example, on this H1. But you keep it clean in the menu item, and in the menu item you just let it post us here. So like this, and then you can say in the H1 post us with cashmere. Because you have to respect the user navigation and the user experience, but also how Google is indexing your site. And when it's Google is indexing your posters page, then it would be better to index the post of cashmere text instead of just post us, because the competition here is much higher than uh, than the posters with Kashmir category. Moreover, you will see a short description that you can add, the sidebar text that you just saw on the left sidebar of the category, and the footer text here that we just added. Then you see the landing pages. You can choose any URL you want, landing page 2, landing page 3, and you can set an image here. That was basically it. I hope you liked this small tutorial on how you can boost your product categories in terms of SEO. And if you have any questions or comments regarding the plugin that we use, then feel free to use the comment section. Otherwise, we would be happy if you buy the plugin and keep up your SEO ranking of your sites. Thank you very much for listening.